Good morning, it's Beverly Cole and I'm in my studio again. Welcome to Tiny Tin Village Part 2. Let's get going. So here's my little village. I've got nine of each. I put them in baggies. I've labeled them. This is the, what I call the city building. And I have any little extra pieces in there that I may have made while I was working. So I'm going to line these up here. And I have nine of them. Aren't they cute? So they have layers, all the little layers that you make. And if you watch my video on how to make shaped cards, I show how to do this little bend where I attach them so they stand up. <laughs> and an extra piece in my bag. I have extra pieces. I have learned from using these that you need to keep them separate or else all your little pieces will get mixed together and you won't know which one goes where. Whoops, got another extra piece there. So here's the nine and I'm going to glitter them. And I decided to use bridal because it's opaque and I don't want to use up my transparents on something that can handle an opaque. The opaque won't matter on a white background. So we're going to use up bridal by, well, it was sparkling sprinkle. Now it's glitters galore. Well, it doesn't really matter what glue you use as long as it's one that with, will hold the glitter. This is a nouveau. So let's take one at a time and I'm going to try just doing the glitter on the snow. I hope everyone is doing well. As I do this, it doesn't matter if, if it dries because it's that two-way glue. So I'm just going to put snow that and then I want to put some snow down on the doorstep. I think that'll be cute. And maybe over the door. I mean, I can get carried away. All right, so I'm gonna put the glue like that on all my buildings. So I'm gonna just dump the glitter on the houses where the glue is, at least the glittery snow. I was thinking of covering the entire house. I'm sorry about the uh, guy outside. He's doing our lawn and he's trimming. I was thinking of covering the entire things with glitter. We'll see. So some of these are dry, so I'm gonna burnish, which just means rub it in with my finger. So we get some good coverage. The ones that were wet, you don't wanna burnish. You will just mess up the glue. Then I'm going to tap them off one at a time. special brush for my glitter, of course, from Sparkle and Sprinkle. I'm going to get all the glitter off that I can. And there we have a little bridal edged glitter house. And that's really cute. You could make your buildings black and put snow on them. You could make your buildings different colors. Christmas. I just think these are adorable. I'm using that green piece of paper just so that you can see. I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of the village just like that, and I'll be back. You'll notice I switched to a different glue stick. This is the Nouveau Glue Pen. It's the next size up, same glue, but this one has a flat edge, which is working really great. I don't have to scribble everything. I'll just run it across works perfectly. I'm going to see what I like on the front here, I'm not quite sure. So I have some extra pieces I'm gonna play around with just to see what I like. I have a very thin uh, quickie glue pen, very tiny point of glue. So I'm gonna try that, see if I can outline some things I think, and I just need to pick a color of glitter. I don't want anything really overstated, but I'd like to make it special. This is Victorian Christmas, so I might try that. Let's try Victorian Christmas. Let's try outlining the bow. Oh, my fingernails are such a mess. Please excuse. 
I have just been doing crafting and gardening. And, yeah, gardening. <laughs> We're in Florida. And then maybe just the candy cane. And, oh my gosh, I can't stop myself. The snowman. It's a very, very fine line. If I just take my time, I won't mess it up. <laughs> so cute. And then the background. And you know, the great thing about... I'm going to just even do the little bird. And the music. Bink, 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 bink. How cute is that? Oh, I ended up outlining virtually everything in this picture. I'm thinking I need to use a very fine glitter for this. And this is opaque, which I don't think is gonna be a good idea. And it's just regular glitter. I've got this silver sterling. Let me try that. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little overdone. And I believe this is opaque. Yeah, this is opaque also. I think I'm gonna wanna stick with something that's a little bit less glitzy. Kinda takes away from that little snowman. He's so cute. And there's that vintage glass one I have. Do with it. Do you not know what I do with things when I move them? Do you see it in the tray anywhere? I don't. <laughs> oh my goodness, what did I do with it? Seriously. It's gotta be right under my nose, literally. I see it. I bet you saw it first. Here it is. This is sil silver crushed glass glitter. Now, the one I made two couple years ago that I never used. Looks like I used some. Ooh, look at that. What? That's here somewhere. That's here somewhere. It's like a chunky. Where are you? Is this it? Shaved. Yep, shaved ice. Let's try that one. On um, these, that stuff would look really cute. I don't want to make my snowmen and things disappear. So let's try putting some down here. And here in the shadow around the little guy's feet. Like he's sitting in it maybe. Maybe a little on his little head here. And we'll put some up here on top of the candy cane too. Okay, let's try it. Now this is chunky, but you can see through it. So I wanna see how that looks. Oh, that's so Christmassy looking, isn't it? Oh my goodness, that's so cute. Okay, so when that falls off, okay, I don't really care for it on his forehead. Let's see if I put some, Yeah, those are cute. That's what I'm gonna do. Here is the silver edged one, which is cute also, but I'm not really a fan of that much glitter on there. I think this is subtle and very pretty. I still have these. I could make these into Christmas cards or I could just make them into tags. So I'll save those and finish these. What I love about these is that it actually looks like clusters of snow. Look how cute. Done, but I have to find the things to go inside. So I'm gonna go look for those. So here are my little villages and I have finished the, all of the glitter and they stand up. And in the, the last thing that I add, I added little trees, uh, little bottle brush trees. So each one gets a little snowman as well. Let me just trim off the strings, which is not hard to do at all. I'm going to go in there. So I'm going to end with a picture of what the village looks like all set up. I hope you enjoyed this video. Merry Christmas.